Hello viewers, this is Dr. Nana Khuller, Assistant Professor, Department of Zoology, Bata Gujri College, Fatigar Sahib. I welcome you to the practical video lecture series on the study of the effect of pH on the activity of salivary amylase on starch, part 3. The aim of this experiment is to study the effect of different pH on the activity of salivary amylase on starch. And the learning outcome would be that the students would be able to understand how acids and bases interfere in the digestion of starches. Basically, the change in pH affects the activity of the proteinaceous enzyme salivary amylase and how then it interferes in the breakdown of starch into maltose. The requirements would be three series of test tubes, iodine solution, pH tablets, 5 ml 1% starch solution, 3 ml of 0.9% sodium chloride solution, saliva solution, droppers, thermometer, Bunsen burner and wire Before we understand the effect of pH on the working of the enzyme, we need to know the basis how and why iodine solution when added to starch gives blue color. Therefore, I would request the viewers to first go through part 2 and part 1 of this lecture series where we've done the concept that how a polysaccharide like starch is broken down into maltose which is a disaccharide by the scissor alpha amylase, the main content of the saliva which is responsible for this breakdown process. While in this particular video lecture, we would understand that how the activity of this alpha amylase is affected if we change the pH, keeping the temperature as optimal. pH, first of all, is called the power of hydrogen ion or hydronium ion. An enzyme can work only at a specific pH. And any change in the pH may change the properties of that proteinaceous enzyme and so it would fail to give its usual effect. Now, take a beaker or a measuring cylinder containing starch solution and sodium chloride solution. And we need to pour this into test tube A, B and C. Test tube A is maintained at a pH of 5. Test tube B is maintained at a pH of 6.8 while test tube C is maintained at a pH of 8. And all these test tubes are maintained at a temperature 37 degrees Celsius or room temperature. Now using a dropper, take 1 ml of saliva solution and add to all three test tubes A, B and C. Keeping the test tubes undisturbed for 3 to 4 minutes and then we would be adding Iodine solution dropwise to each tube A, B and C. When we add solution to test tube A, the color turns blue. While in test tube B, the color remains unchanged. And test tube C, color again turns blue. The result is that pH 5 is acidic while pH 8 is base. Therefore, salivary amylase did not act in these tubes, whereas the enzyme acted in the tube with pH 6.8. Therefore, that particular tube where the pH was 6.8, the salivary amylase enzyme was active and it could digest and break down the starch into maltose. Therefore, that particular test tube B gave no color with iodine solution since the starch was no longer existing. While test tube A and test tube C, the enzyme could not act on starch as it needs a specific pH for its activity. Thank you. Bye.